uh, that you did not already know about the 44th president of the United States, but you're not alone. Now, the Daily Caller's Michelle Fields took our cameras into the streets of New York City to see just how much the average American knows about the Obama autobiography. And as you can imagine, some of them, well, were pretty surprised at what they heard. Let's take a look at this. Have you heard about some of the controversial statements in President Obama's Dreams from My Father book? No, I haven't. I chose my friends carefully. The more politically active black students, the foreign students, the Chicanos, the Marxist professors. How do you feel about that? Um, concerning. How do you feel about the president hanging out with Marxists when he was a young man? I've personally hung out with some bad people, so I don't think it's that bad of a thing as long as he's not with them today. Wow, I did not know that. I do not respect that. I do not agree with that. Wow. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty deep there. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Like, why hang out with Marxists? What's the point? In his book, he admits to eating dog and calls it, quote, tough. I'd have to know the circumstances and where he was when he enjoyed the dog. Eating dog? No. Did you know that President Obama ate dog and says that it's, quote, tough? Yeah, I didn't know that. No. That's also extraordinary. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> this is America. I mean, come on. It's like little Brazil, little Korea, little... It's everything all over the place, so that's not surprising. Political discussions, the kind that at Occidental had once seemed so intense and purposeful, came to take on the flavor of the socialist conferences I sometimes attended at Cooper Union. In his book, he also admits to attending socialist conferences when he was in college. That's not a good thing. That's probably not where we want to be today. What's the reason behind that? What's the motivation behind that? Is he interested in that? Does he believe in it? Does he embrace it? I mean, those are the greater questions, right? That sounds like uh, he's kind of hiding something or... Maybe he's not being truthful if this isn't all if this is all coming out in a book. No, I did not know that. I just I don't like that. <laughs> That's one of the things I wow, oh, okay, I should read this book then. <laughs> I kept playing basketball, attended classes sparingly, drank beer heavily, and tried drugs enthusiastically. In his book he wrote that he would do quote a little blow when he could afford it. Well so <laughs> That sounds kind of weird, too. I don't know if I'd want somebody to run my, you know, leading the country, making big decisions. Mm, I think that's okay, too. Yeah? As long as he didn't get addicted. That's amazing. It's amazing. That's horrible as well. What do you think about the president having done blow? Um, it's definitely not what the American people want to hear, that's for sure. It's not leadership material by any means. In college. That's college. He's not doing it now, hopefully. I don't know why he would write this. This book, this book seems like a disaster. That pretty much sums it up. Michelle Fields from The Daily Caller is with us. My first question. So you're out in the streets of New York City. Did you meet one person that had heard any of these things before? No, I, one person had heard of him doing marijuana, but no one really, no one even knew about the book. No one had read the book. Uh, most of the people had never heard of this stuff, and some of them didn't even believe me. But you can't really blame them because this information hasn't been out in the media. They haven't heard about it. And a lot of them are wondering, how is it that a man ran in 2008 to be the leader of the free world? The free world. And yet he attended socialist conferences. He hung out with Marxists. I think they were all just very Did confused. people say that to you? Did they say they were, they, they, literally, you could see some of their faces. They seemed pretty shocked. They were they were shocked that they had never heard about this. How is this not front news front newspaper stuff? Why isn't this on every single television? You know, and the interesting thing is, we started at the beginning of this program. We said this is not the most this is not the driving issue in the campaign. It's going to be the economy, foreign, uh, you know, national security, and, and all these other issues. But would any Republican ever get away with saying all of these things about their background and not be? asked exhaustive questions about these things. I think the issue is why don't people know about this? We know all about Romney when he was in prep school. Why don't we know about Obama's time in Occidental, his time as a community organizer? Why don't people know this information? I think that's really question. important. I just have one question about the dog, and I'll ask everybody here. Would you have preferred, how many would prefer to be the dog Seamus that lived? <laughs> Or the dog that was eaten? <laughs> Anybody for the dog that was eaten? I'm just checking, all right. Um, which was one of the more humorous things in the book. Uh, thank you, Michelle Fields, for doing that. Now, coming up.